I got my job from the first interview mm -hmm. and I got my first interview, I got my first invitation from the first day of application. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Tamu from Find a Job in Germany, and today I'm here with my former coach Vic. Hey, hi, Vic. How are you doing? Hello, Tamu. Doing great. And how are you? I'm also good. Thanks for asking. Vic, uh, great to see you again. It's been a few months uh, since you started your new job. Maybe first of all, you're a security engineer, IT security engineer. Uh, maybe quick intro from your side, first of all. Yeah, so my name is Vic. I'm working in cybersecurity for the latest five years. I had previous experience in QA, in AQA, and currently I'm working as a security expert, and I'm doing great in my new job for a few months at the company that you helped me find. So, uh, yeah, I have a background in security. Actually, I have two master's degrees, and I'm currently working on my PhD. Mm -hmm. um, Usually, I focus mainly on uh, blue teaming. I'm focusing on risk assessment, on threat modeling, on pen testing. And that's what I do in the company that I found. Awesome. You are from Ukraine originally. Yes, you came to yeah. Berlin um, a few uh, years ago or months ago. And um, what was challenging for you to find a new job here or your first job here in Germany? What were the challenges you faced? <laughs> I think the first and the most challenge for me and for other participants in the process is German language. Mm -hmm. It was really hard to find a good job without German language and also without a proper CV that corresponds to all German requirements because I had my CV. Mm -hmm. It was a bit confusing for uh, somebody who read through it. And I think I was rejected only on this automation scanning part of my CV and yeah. then information that I don't speak any German for the ones that wanted to work with me. That was a game changer and mm -hmm. cool. they didn't want to uh, continue process even if my experience fit well for them. Yeah. And after you did, you had a new CV, um, how did the interview process go then? So that's my favorite part. Uh, because I got my job from the first interview mm -hmm. and I got my first interview, I got my first invitation from the first day of applications. So I had my first round with new CV and then the same day I got an invent uh, for first round mm -hmm. and then with this same company I got the offer and then the same day I got one more um, invitation for the first round and with these two companies that I got from the first day of application I got two offers. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Well, so the process of application took months only because we had some Easter holidays uh, okay. and even quicker. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. And tell us yeah. more about the interview process with the companies you were interviewing. So it's always uh, the standard process. It was the first round with HR. Then I got the technical task from both of the companies I got offers. And then after technical task I got for one, I got defense call where I uh, met the team and I defended in presentation what I created for the case study, for the tasks, for challenges. Uh, for the other, I just met CTO. Mm -hmm. And after that, I got some um, more of a meeting with the team needs meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's it. Cool. How was the first round like usually? <clears throat> usually it's a call with uh, HR. So first one on the phone call um by, by the mobile phone so it was really important for me to have the german number mm -hmm. because with this ukrainian number i had some problems with connections everything was uh messy they could not call me back so it's very important to have the german number for this round uh for others it was uh, just hr call with some people from the team mm -hmm. um in teams Cool. Awesome. And what was the technical round? Uh, what was it like? What did you, maybe from a security point of view for other security engineers, what do you need to specifically focus on? <laughs> uh, so for me as a security engineer uh, in more of a blue teaming part, it was case study with my recommendation, with my audit and with my uh, thoughts about the imaginary company. 
that has some engineering infrastructure and what would I improve, what would I recommend, some risk assessment for this company, and also investigation of some vulnerabilities and parts of code. So what do I think uh, is wrong in this part of code? How can I improve that? So here, uh, I think also the most important part for me was uh, how I present it. So mm -hmm. it's part of the usual work, it's usual job tasks and descriptions. So uh, how I present it's basically how I will work. Mm -hmm. So I needed to pay attention on the visual part and also presentation and organization. Mm -hmm. Cool. And how what how did you do the presentation? Did you do a PowerPoint or how did you go ahead with that? I did it in PowerPoint. So I uh, choose the template. And in this template, I choose the colors close to colors of the corporate of, of the team that I will work with. So they could mm -hmm. like uh, understand that I made my research, try to be in their style. And then in this template, I just presented uh, step by step my results, results of my work, not too overloaded. And I also paid attention to uh, speak about my results, not just read mm -hmm. uh, and describe my thoughts. Cool. So it was just like visual representation of what I've done and some hints for me, what I should mention during my presentation. Mm -hmm. And what would you say, what are say maybe two or three key skills, tactical wise, you need to bring to the table to land a job in IT security like you? I think you need to be uh, very disciplined. You need to follow the rules, follow the instruction of the task. And if you don't understand anything, you should ask uh, in advice and you should really follow the structure. If, if it's mentioned that you need to make a presentation, you should make it. If it's mentioned that you need to fill some risk assessment for one page, you should not do more. You should do only one page. Uh, also, you need to be technically specific and you need to have some basis to um, to defend uh, your decisions. So you not should just assume, mm -hmm. you should uh, refer to something to understand in, in which field you're working and what are the practices in the field. And uh, yeah, I think you should communicate. You should who makes the process comfortable. So it's not just a technical part, not just a technical task. You're still uh, working with people. Mm -hmm. You need to interact with them between uh, your presentation slides and so on. Cool. Awesome. And technology wise, is there a certain, did you know, did you know a lot of Python, um, some um, security standards? What was relevant there for you? Uh, so for me, it was relevant to understand all security standards. Uh, it's ISO, it's OWASP, it's GDPR. And I, I needed to know not only just the standards, but the latest version of the standards mm -hmm. and what was changed in between of this latest uh, version. Also, it was very important for me to understand what tools uh, I may use during the process to recommend them uh, during the process. So I often got the question, what would you recommend? What tools would you recommend for us to implement as a process uh, at this, at this, at this point? Mm -hmm. And I, I needed to think on the hand. So you need to understand uh, some basic approach, how to build a security system uh, for any type of company. So cool. you could suggest something. Awesome. And also, code-wise, it was Java. And I got the questions with the code. And I got even the, some parts of the code during the interview with the question, what do, what do you think of that? Mm -hmm. Cool. Awesome. Then I wish you all the best for um, your new job. And um, I hope you're going to be happy there. And all the best to you. Many thanks. See you soon. Thank you. If you're watching and you also want to move to Germany, you want to find a job here, get in touch with us, book a get to no call. We're going to assess your profile and then we're going to help you to land a job here. See you soon. Bye bye. And auf Wiedersehen. Ciao.